Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just joking and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building Roman's Mitsubishi Eclipse Spider from Too Fast Too Furious and as you can see we're going to be using this brand new Mobatsu Pronumba FF which was released with the Summertime DLC. Obviously this is a hard top, this is not a convertible or soft top like what the car is in Too Fast Too Furious but that's just one of the things I'm not going to be able to do during this build but everything else should be spot on so without any further ado let's crack on with this build so as always we are going to start with 100% body armor as you can see I've already purchased this and you'll see this with a few things obviously with bulletproof tires and whatnot uh, that I have already purchased these because like I said this car is from my review video of the Penumbra but I'll still be going through the options anyway like I haven't already purchased them so 100% body armor to start then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes for the bumper front bumpers and the best option for this build is going to be the street bumper. Obviously, there's some glaring issues with it where we don't have the indicators to the left and right of the bumper. We also don't have the fog lights on this. Um, but everything else is pretty much spot on. We've got the two ridges either side of the bumper. We've got the nice split down the middle. And we've got the nice contour at the bottom of the bumper, which actually matches Roman's car really, really nicely. Yeah, so, so street bumper is the one you want to go for. Then we're going to move on to the rear bumper. There isn't really many good options for the rear bumper, to be honest. Um, this is the one I chose for the review build and I'm still not 100% sold on it to be honest. Uh, there was this one, if you watch the review video you'll know that I don't like how the exhaust tips don't sit central to the gaps on this rear bumper. It looks really fucking shit to be honest. Um, but with all that aside I think the stock rear bumper looks the best so that's the one we're going to go for. Obviously for the engine you want to grab the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts. We're going to stick with these dual titanium tips. So next we've got the front seats option and then you move down to the bucket seats and then you go into the roll cages. We don't need a roll cage because this is supposed to be a convertible so um, I've also got the competition seats already selected and that's pretty much what we're going to need anyway. It's a shame that we haven't um, a choice of changing the colour of the harness because red is going to look a little bit odd um, because we can change the colour of the seats with the trim colour. So I'm going to stick with the competition seats. Then we're going to move on to the hood. He's got a completely smoothed hood. No vents, no bumps, no anything. So uh, we're going to stay stock for the hood. Then we could go down to the lights. We're going to grab the headlights and go with the Xeon headlights. And for the neon kit, he does have a neon kit. It is a front, back and sides. And for the colour, we are going to go with this electric blue. So now we're going to move on to the liveries. Obviously, we're going to go and grab this bad boy. We hungry. We hungry. And that is pretty much exactly what we need obviously it's not identical but it is worlds apart to compare to what we've had and had previously and this is the closest thing we've ever ever had to create a romans car from too fast too furious so we hungry is definitely the one we're going to go for and then we're going to go to the mirrors and we're going to change that to the stock mirrors so for the respray hopefully this is going to work fingers crossed because it does look pretty sweet um but romans car the front bumper is still silver where the rest of it is purple and there's a couple of different shades of purple in this as well obviously we're not going to be able to do that so this isn't going to be perfect by any means but we've got a similar looking car and we've got an awesome looking livery so we're going to go primary color and usually when i have a livery installed i don't go with metallic colors but in on this occasion i'm going to give it a go because i think it might work so i'm going to go metallic for this and I'm going to go with this shaft of purple. And now I've changed the colour of it. I see that the front actually stays silver. And that is awesome. Obviously we've got this bit that goes up the centre on the hood. And over the roof. But the roof doesn't count anyway. Because the car in the movie is a convertible. So I'm not even counting that. Um, yeah with the, with the bonnet or the hood. Whatever you want to call it, it. It does take a large part of that pattern away. Which is a shame. Um. But the fact that we keep the front bumper silver is awesome because the car in the film in Too Fast Too Furious has a silver bumper and this and, and it being able to do this it just works it looks so good man and I'm really happy with this livery does that and you go to the rear and it looks awesome. Um, Shaft of Purple I think is going to be the best one. I, I was toying with the idea of Midnight Purple but I think it might be a little bit too dark I'm not sure actually. 
Yeah, looking at different reference photos and whatnot, I think Midnight Purple might be a tad too dark and Shaft of Purple might be the best option for this. So yeah, I'm gonna go Metallic Shaft of Purple for the primary. And then for the secondary color, I'm not really sure what this is gonna change in regards to that. We've got a bluish silver at the moment. So what does that actually change? I don't think that's gonna change anything. I can't see it changing anything anyways. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna choose Shaft of Purple for the secondary color also. So now we do get the option to change the trim color, which obviously we, got, we are gonna do. So at the moment it's graphite. Oh, I see what the secondary color changed. It was the stitching on the seats. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we are gonna change it to, a, well the seats are not quite white. I think they're more of a creamy color. So we're gonna go find a cream and see how that looks. So I found cream and I think it looks a little bit too yellowy for my liking. So I am gonna go with a white and it's gonna be ice white. So as you can see, we do get an option for the roof, but like I've already said, um, Roman's car is a convertible and we can't get an, can't get a soft top option. Um, so I'm not gonna have anything, I'm gonna stay stock for the roof. Next, we've got the side skirts. And again, if you watch my review video, a lot of these side skirts are pretty much the same. They don't tend to change much at all other than a carbon version of it. Other than that, the actual shape of them doesn't really change. So I'm just gonna stay with a rounded shelf skirt for this. So next we're going to move on to the splitter. As you can see, I've got a carbon splitter already installed. But I don't think we need a splitter, to be honest. It needs to stay stock like this because I'm looking at reference photos and I can't see a splitter on Roman's car. So we're going to stay stock for the splitter. Then we've got the spoiler option. Uh, now this is pretty much what we need. Now we're, not, we're going to go with the extended wing. I, I did have the carbon extended wing, wing installed, but we don't need that. We need... Just the standard one so it goes purple like i said in the film it is silver but unfortunately we can't make it silver in the game um, but purple is better than carbon 100 percent. so we're gonna go with that sunstrip obviously as you can see i've got a sunstrip installed but we just want to go and remove that now for the suspension as you can see i'm running sport suspension at the moment and that is super low competition suspension slams it even further with a bit more camber um, but i want to raise it a little bit because in the movie it's not that low it is more of a street suspension setup to be fair, or even just a lowered. Um, but I think we're going to go with street suspension and you know leave it as that because I think that's a, a you know a decent ride height for this build. Transmission, obviously, we'll go and get the race transmission and obviously the turbo tuning for the wheels. Now, if you watch my review video, you are going to know that we have a new category of wheels and it is called street. And I am super excited about having a new <laughs> set of wheels. We've got 30 new designs of wheels, but that's for another video. The rims we're going to need for this build are actually in the sport category and you're going to have to go with chrome with this because Roman's Eclipse Spider is definitely chromed out and they are these Feroshi RR rims in chrome. They look awesome. They look exactly like what we need. Um, so yeah, perfect set of rims for this build. And to finish off the build as always, you want to go into the windows and grab the light smoke window tint. But other than that guys, this is it. This is Roman's. Mitsubishi Eclipse Spider from Too Fast Too Furious and obviously it could be better you know the headlights aren't exactly like what they are on the Spider uh, it isn't convertible the wing isn't silver uh, we don't have the complete livery design all over the hood but it is 100% better than what we've had previously and I'm overly happy with it I was very excited to create this build so that's why I'm bringing it to you first out of all of the ideas that I've got this just had to get out there because it's been so long that I've been trying to create this build, man. I've, I've used the Banshee 900R, for God's sake, and this is, you know, 10 times better, a thousand times better than using the Banshee 900R for this build. Like I said, it's not perfect. Obviously, there are some different um, designs of Eclipse, and this is one of the newer versions. Obviously, it's the Spider, so the headlights are a little bit different on this. Um, so yeah, other than the headlights and not it not being convertible and the wing not being silver, I think it's actually really good. You know, I wasn't expecting to get this livery when I first saw it. When I first saw it, the first thing I thought was, this is the new Eclipse. And I was hoping that we were going to get, you know, the livery for the green Eclipse from the first movie, which we got. And when I saw it, I was like, yes, thank God for that. And then in the review video, I saw this and I was like, damn. I was not expecting that, you know, Rockstar, I was, they caught me off guard by that, I was not expecting Rockstar to add this livery, and because they did, I was so excited about it, 
and I am overly happy with it. This is the best thing Rockstar's given us in regards to Too Fast, Too Furious, and Roman Spider ever. You know, this is the first option they've given us to create this car. So it's got to be done. And I'm really happy with the way it's turned out with the limited amount of options that we've had. Obviously, like I said, the bumper's not exactly right. The headlights is not perfect. The spoiler's not perfect. It is a hard top and not a soft top. But, you know, it is what it is. It is GTA after all. And I'm just happy that we can make something which is similar to Roman's. Eclipse Spider from Too Fast Too Furious. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.